If you've ever used an online drive like OneDrive or Google Drive before, you'll know that they aren't the most generous people on earth when it comes to free tiers. However, there is light at the end of the tunnel, and that is Telegram. That's why in this video I'm going to be building a storage solution that you can use to store your special stash safely and encrypted on Telegram, and most importantly, without paying a single penny. As always, the first thing we need to do is choose our tech stack. Unsurprisingly, I went with Python again. To interact with the Telegram API, I used the Telethon package, which I regretted literally 10 minutes after starting to code the project. I decided to make it a CLI application because apparently having a front-end and back-end folder is too confusing for some people. Enough said, let's get into the actual code. First, I created a Telegram class which would store all methods that interact with the API. To connect to Telegram through Telethon, the phone number parameter is needed, and we get this from the config file which contains all our sensitive information. We then also need to create an app from the dashboard which will provide us with the app ID and hash. In the same constructor, we can also initialize our database, which uses SQLite 3, since I'm not going to pay for a remote database server, and I'm literally building this program so that I don't have to pay for a cloud service. We can now start implementing the upload functions. Note that one very important thing that happens here is the splitting of the file if it is above the maximum file upload limit of 2 gigabytes. And when the user wants to download the original file, we can reassemble the file by looping through the chunks and adding them all to one file. But to know which file to upload in the first place, we need command line arguments. We check if the user hasn't provided enough arguments. If that's not the case, the file path is going to be the string after the upload keyword. I say file, but it could also be a folder, which is why we also need to check for that and execute a different function depending on whether the user wants to upload a file or directory. To be able to remove a file, we can repeat the same process for the input validation and see if the file query is valid. If yes, we can call the remove method from our Telegram class, which will remove the file from our database and delete the message associated with that file on Telegram. Implementing the list method is pretty easy. We just have to loop through each stored file in our database and print them out as a table using a package called pretty table. The application is now basically finished and we can try it out. Say we would like to upload a file called hello.txt, we would type the path to our Python script, then the upload keyword, and after that the path to our hello.txt, and then we just need to press enter. To download the file, we can do the same thing but replace upload with download. As always, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like and subscribe, and also join my Discord server, big things are coming soon. Till next time. Bye -bye. Bye -bye.